Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a dynamic group in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. In Azure Active Directory, you can use rules to determine group membership based on user or device properties. Dynamic membership is supported for security groups or Microsoft 365 groups. When a group membership rule is applied, user and device attributes are evaluated for matches with the membership rule. When an attribute changes for a user or device, all dynamic group rules in the organization are processed for membership changes. Users and devices are added or removed if they meet the conditions for a group. Security groups can be used for either devices or users, but Microsoft 365 groups can be only used for users. Using dynamic groups require Azure Active Directory Premium P1 license or Intune for Education license. In this video, we want to create a new dynamic security group with all the users from IT team. For that, we will use users department attribute as a dynamic rule condition. First, we need to access and log in to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. You can access it using the URL https colon double aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure Active Directory Admin Center, under Favorites, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to create a new dynamic group. Under manage, click on users first. First, we will check the department attribute value for the users Manhar Rakhulia and Rahul Adani. Click on user account Manhar Rakhulia. On Manhar Rakhulia's profile page, check the user's department value. It is IT team. Do the same for Rahul Adani. Let me close this page. Click on Rahul Adani and check the department value. It is IT team. So both users department is IT team. Now let's create a new dynamic group for the IT team. Uh, let me close this page and manage uh, click on groups. Click on new group. On the group page, Choose security as a group type and that is by default selected. Enter a name and description for this new group. After specifying group name and description, select membership type. Click on drop down arrow and select dynamic user as a membership type for this group. I'm not going to define any additional owner for this group. To define the dynamic query for this group, click on add dynamic query link. Let's define the rule syntax for this dynamic query. Already one rule is there. If you want, you can click on add expression to add multiple expressions. Under properties, click on this drop down arrow and select department attribute. Now select operator type to equal to. See, here we have uh, other options as well. Suppose if you want to match the value starting with this particular uh, name, then you can select starts with. So you have plenty of options, but here we want to match the exact value and that's why I'm going to select equals. Now we need to add value for the department attribute, which we want in this rule to match. In our case, it is going to be IT team. You can also add another condition if required. Uh, let me show you one more thing. I click on add expression. Here we have a AND and OR operator. Use AND operator to match two condition or use OR operator to match any one condition out of two. Uh, we'll go with only one. So I'm going to delete the second expression. Okay, so you want one expression only. Keep in mind that rule builder supports up to five expressions. To add more than five expressions, you must use the text box. After creating the rule, we need to save it. So click on save to save this rule. 
okay and uh, later on if you want to edit the dynamic query then again click on edit dynamic query and modify the query from here okay now select create on the new group page to create this dynamic group with the defined dynamic query wait for the confirmation message successfully created group name id team click on refresh to update the group list we can see it team is there you can see the membership processing status and the last updated date on the overview page for the group to see that click on the group name it team we can see the status is not available yet so we need to wait for a few seconds okay uh, let me close this and let me uh, refresh this entire web page and let's see what happens okay here we can see our group it team and group type is security and you can see membership type is dynamic let's click on it team again and now we can see this is the information about membership processing status and membership last updated timestamp we can see membership processing status is update completed and this is the timestamp where the membership was last updated uh, under direct members we can see we have two users in this group okay two users are there to see these two users click on members tab we can see manir rakhulia and rahul adani both are listed as a member of this group since both users department is it team so both users match the condition defined for the dynamic group membership and that's why both users are now listed as a member of this it team dynamic group you can also modify the dynamic membership query as per requirement if needed and for that you just need to click on dynamic membership rules here and here modify that query okay so that concludes the video on how to create a dynamic group in azure active directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.